Hey, hi everyone. Today we are going to learn about uh, CDC and uh, Debian. This is uh, one of the really important concepts when we are coming to the distributed systems. So basically, uh, as the title is designed, we will understand what is CDC and how it is related to the Debian. So at first, full form of a CDC is a change data capture, as the name suggests. Whenever there is a changes, it is going to capture some changes. So that is CDC. So let me write this down. So CDC means this is a change data capture. That is a full form. Now, what is the definition of a CDC? CDC is a process where we are capturing all the DB changes and we are transferring those changes to the other systems. So suppose in our ecosystem, there are 10 microservices. And uh, apart from that 10 microservices, there are five microservices which are expecting the updates into one of the DB as a notification. So whenever changes happens into one of the DB, right, we are going to capture those changes and we have to transmit those to the those remaining five systems into the ecosystem. So that is just a process. CDC is just a process of a capturing the changes and transmitting those. So let me write this down. Capture real time DB changes and transmit to other systems. Now, our second topic is importance of a change data capture. So, what is the importance of a change data capture? So, basically, suppose you are the employee into the stock market and you are using an application where you can see all the stock options listed into one of the tab dashboard so whenever value changes of any stock you want to get immediate insights into the dashboard so whenever you want immediate insights regarding the dashboards and anything and in the real time within a milliseconds and all so you can go ahead with a change data capture there all the applications where money or life is involved you can go ahead with uh, this cdc instead of a like a normal message quick event driven architecture so that is a first use case to get immediate insights for making business decisions so this is a really high level abstract use case one of the technical use case of this have you heard of a master slave database so into the distributed databases right there is a master there is a two reader replicas or four reader replicas or n reader replicas so all the writes from the app happens on the writer instance cool Matlab writer has all the responsibility to consume all the rights and he has the responsibility to replicate that data to the reader instances. So suppose one of the add operation happened on the master DP, we have to replicate that to the reader instances. Let me draw one diagram. Suppose this is a master, master DB. These are two reader instances. Reader two. So whenever any write happens, it has to replicate to the reader instances. So as I said, 
whenever any write happens on the master db right master db has to replicate all these changes into the reader instances and how can this happen whenever any database change happens into the master db right all the changes are propagated to the reader instances and reader instances will do the changes accordingly so this is a one of the use case for cdc like a data synchronization This is all about the importance of a change data capture. First is a getting insights and second is a data synchronization. Now we will understand what is a DP theme. So as our second topic, our next question is what is a DP theme? So basically, Debezium is a one of the CDC tool. So CDC is a process of capturing changes and transmitting those. But Debezium is a tool to do all this stuff. So Debezium is an open source platform, open source CDC platform. You can just go over the GitHub and you can see the source code for this Debezium. Source CDC platform. And uh, I think it is written in Java the important functionality of a debezium is to capture all the granular up updates into the database suppose there is an insert into one table there is update into the second table there is a delete into the third table so all the granular up operations all the granular db operations debezium will capture those events and it will just publish those events that is the main functionality so capturing granular db changes and publishing those that is a debezium now one more thing i want to say debezium solves the issue of a double commit also so let me write this it resolves double commit or double write issue so now we will understand what is a double write issue so basically consider you are working into one of the big startup where we have a microservice one of the app there is a database and uh, you are publishing all the updates into the database into the one of the message queue and some x y z service uh, second service is consuming those messages so let me write down the diagram for this suppose this is an app this is a db and uh, this is a message queue and this is a xyz service let me write down this is an app this is a db this is a message queue we can assume this as a kafka or something like that and this is a app too or second microservices in this case let me write down here these are the topics and partitions top sets now what happens is uh, whenever app do the db changes okay and after that app will get an update ki db update is successful db update is successful after that it will prepare some message and it will add that message into the kafka topic so can you see that this first one and this third one these are the double writes uh, for a single transaction for a single update app is doing a two updates app is doing a double writes so what happens if a app writes a, a data into the database and suddenly app crashes so this third step didn't happen this got failed in this case this app one and this app two because message is not published those are into the inconsistent state so these are the double write issues this makes sense right and app is going to consume all these details 
from here. So this is a double right issue. And to resolve this, we will understand the DBZM architecture, how DBZM architecture is resolving this. Okay. So next topic is DBZM architecture. Or uh, I would say it is a CDC architecture using DBZM. CDC architecture using division first of all we will have an app first of all we will have an app suppose now we have a two databases one is a postgres sql one is a mysql So this is a first database. So this is a MySQL. This is a PSQL, and app is writing on the fourth database into the single transaction. So basically, we have to set up a Debezium server. So Debezium server will come here. This is a Debezium server. It will have a connectors, the database specific connectors to handle the complexities of multiple databases, which will connect to the. So this is a MySQL connector mysql debezium connector it is connected to this one and this is psql psql connector this is connected to the psql database after that after that it will whenever any operation happens right there is a message queue this is a two topics these are the two topics this is a message queue and whenever any update happens into the database debezium captures that update and it will publish on the message queue in this case this is getting published on both of the topics. It is getting published on this only topic, the second topic. After that, there are uh, like a lot of services. Suppose there is a XYZ consumer service which is looking for the update into this database. Suppose there is one cache. They wanted to invalidate a cache whenever there is an update into the database. Or there can be uh, some data warehousing services where they are storing all the historical data uh, regarding those versions and all this stuff. So let me write down that. So basically, there are three parts at high level. So first one is a data warehouse. Second one is suppose cache. This is a second microservice I suppose app to, and the data warehousing is consuming. Suppose this data warehousing is consuming the messages from first topic, cache is consuming the messages from first and second topic, and second microservices is consuming the message from message. Does that make sense? So this is a CDC architecture using a Debezium. And now the question arises in your mind, like uh, here also we are publishing on the publishing a message into the Kafka. What will happen if a this part fails. The same thing will happen for the event driven message queues architecture. Now, I want to say one thing this whole operation, right? This whole operation is into the transactional block. So, if this part fails, these changes will also get reverted. So, that is a, I would say, functionality provided by the DBGM or a CDC tool because database update and publishing a message both are into the transactional block so that is a cdc architecture and that's how it is solving the double commit issues 
so that's regarding it now at a high level we will understand ki how can we set up a debezium into our app or into our local system so basically how to set up debezium in local so these are just a high level step i will provide a script into the youtube description video description so first one is a if you have a psql or mysql locally installed so that is completely fine else you can just uh, run a docker container command to run docker container for db after that second step is you have to uh, start a debezium server uh, which is connected to your database run command start debezium server connected to db third one is uh, you have to run a command basically there is a curl where you have to provide a database name database password database username and kafka topics names also this one also these details also here you have to run a curl or command to set up connector which will consume a message which will consume a message from the db and which will publish a message around the message queue so that's all regarding the setting up a database so what we saw into the today's video is we understood what is a change data capture we understood what is the importance why cdc is necessary we understood what is a database like uh, and how it is resolving the double write issue what is a double write issue and after that we understood what is a cdc architecture using database and all this stuff and at a high level we have gone through the how can we set up a debezium in local so that's all from my end. so basically i am just thanking you for staying that long thanks guys if you have any doubts feel free to drop a comment on my youtube video take care so bye